Okay, have, hello everybody. Um, <laughs> we're going to be doing uh, your twin flame reading today. I know it's been a while, I know, and um, you know, just uh, thank you for bearing with me and welcome back. Um, if you're new here to the channel, please hit the like, subscribe. It really helps my channel a lot. It lets me know that you appreciate what I'm doing for you for free as well. Um, so uh, I will keep doing what I'm doing. But yeah, I have been quite busy with work recently. But I have noticed um, at the moment, this time, the energy, the twin flame energy is really quite vibrant. We've got a lot of people um, wanting to connect or calling through to connect with their twins, um, wondering what's going on at this time. So I thought I would do a twin flame uh, reading this is a collective reading and it's for oh, that's too many cards it's for twins that are in separation at this time so let's first of all have a look at what your twin is thinking about you um what is oh, what is this okay thank you sorry they, sorry i went a bit quiet there because they were i was just listening to what my guides were saying so straight away um, we've got two third party energies, two third party cards just here. Now, I do feel like I'm tapping in with the divine masculine energy. We've got the three of pentacles, which is, uh, well, it represents anything that's going to get in the way of your connection, anything that's going to block your um, the two of you coming together. So your divine masculine is dealing with um, something at the moment. It's definitely taking out or taking their attention away from this connection. It could well be that they have a third party because we also have um, the three of cups. So two threes straight away. Definitely we've got third party energy. Now, um, let's see if we can clarify this a little bit more. Um, what is this third party energy, please? What is this obstacle? Judgments. Look at that. So, <laughs> yeah. I mean, just here with this one, we've got so many things happening. We've got reconciliation we've got decisions being made based on the time based on you know this being the right time for that particular choice you know they've made the best call that they um could given the circumstances um for lots of you here i do get the sense that this person has decided to stay with a karmic they have uh, taking that option here to stay with this person and it's I mean I appreciate it's very frustrating the last couple of years for twin flame connections has been very very um, tense and every single time we get these um, uniting energies coming in with the full moon and mercury retrograde um, it it pulls everything back into focus so you may have felt as though you've moved on from this person they may feel as though they have moved on from you but um that link that connection is still very strong you cannot neither of you can escape it basically okay so just here, this is what they would like you to know. This is what they would like you to realize at this time. There is another person. It's not just you. There is another person here um, in this connection. How is the divine masculine thinking and feeling about the feminine, please? How is the divine masculine thinking and feeling about the feminine? Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Look at this, they want to talk to you. They want you to talk to them, they want to talk to you. They really, I feel like you are the missing piece for them. You are the missing part of them. And so they need you at this time. 
We want to have a new start with you. They're looking here. They're looking for some inspiration. They're looking for a way to, um, to, to have a new beginning. They want to have a new beginning here. They see you as being um, a beautiful soul here that brings this inspiration energy to them. You help them be creative. You help them see that there are more possibilities, that there is a better way of them to exist, to live. You inspire them basically to live here. So without you, it kind of feels as though they're stuck in a rut. So with you being in their life, you're helping them. Um, then what they need to realize here is how much you do bring to the table, how much you, you know, it's important to have that reason for existing it's not just that you don't just help this person exist you help them be a better version of themselves you help them be creative you help them uh you bring them inspiration okay so you you know all aspects just here this is what they are missing this is what they need and they're recognizing here that they need this from you they do see you at the moment as the Queen of Swords. Now, this is so typical. This is um, this is why, you know, when you do regular twin flame readings and you read for lots of different um, couples or individuals in twin flame connections, you will see there is a pattern um, that emerges when you're going through the stages. So right now, this Queen of Swords energy, this is the, the point that you are at in this cycle. They see you as having your boundaries up. They think of you as being quite harsh. You know, you say harsh things to them. But what this is, is you're holding up that mirror to them and you're making them take a good hard look at themselves. But at the moment, what they're doing is they're reflecting that back at you, saying, you know, this is your fault that I feel bad about myself. I, I know I have flaws, but yet it's your fault that I see them. So they do see you as being quite harsh at the moment, quite logical, quite cold, um, because you make them see the truth about themselves and they don't like it. They don't like it. This is why sometimes twins can come across as being narcissistic. Um, other terms that you hear people use is gaslighting, ghosting, like all kinds of things here because um, it's tough to look at yourself and accept yourself with your flaws and all. You know, it's, it's you know, if somebody else is accepting you for your flaws, why can't you? You need to learn to accept yourself for your flaws. So this is what your person is doing at the moment. This is what the divine masculine is working on. They're working on how to accept themselves with those flaws. Okay, so let's have a look at what is going to happen next. So what is the next moves here for the divine masculine, please? Oh my gosh. Next moves for the divine masculine, please. This is going to take time. I tell you now, this is definitely going to take time. This is not a quick fix. Do not expect a sudden phone call from your person. Because it's not going to happen. Just tell you now, okay? Um, they might really, really want to talk to you. But it doesn't mean that they're going to. Because they've got to get over themselves. They've got to get out of their headspace. And just here you can see definitely nine of swords. You may well get some dream time with your person. You'll get some telepathic communication. You're going to get some energetic communication from your person. It doesn't always mean that they're going to come rushing in as soon as you get that um that communication but it's just to let you know that this connection is still in play and I think this is what people find difficult to understand about twin flame connections is that um, it's it's not a soulmate connection it's a different type of soulmate and you can't therefore put it in that traditional relationship kind of energy you just can't 
So, you know, traditionally or typically, if you want to talk to someone, you're going to pick up the phone, you're going to talk to them, you're going to call them, you're going to text them. Um, but with twin flames, they have blockages, they have things that get in the way. So just here, their next course of action, they're going to be concentrating on those pentacles. They're really focusing here at this time to build a future for themselves. They're building their stability. They could indeed be working on this harmony and stability with their um, karmic, with their third person here. Um, I should say at this point, when we say third party, you've got to remember that, you know, if your person is involved with somebody long-term committed relationship, then you are actually the third person. Um, you know, in the eyes of this reality, because we have to work with this reality um, in order for the union to happen, you have to acknowledge and recognize that you are the third person. Okay, so your person, your divine masculine just here, they are building on their stability. They're building on their future. They're building on, um, you know, creating this abundance for themselves. So they could be working very hard at the moment um, on their career, on, you know, the home, on repairing, rebuilding relationships with people around them, people close to them. But this is what they're currently working on. So they're working on building their 3D life, um, the life in this reality. This is what they're working on. But it does cause them stress. It causes them heartbreak. It causes them headaches, okay? They could be getting a lot of headaches here. You could be experiencing a lot of headaches at the moment. Mm. So yeah, I would say expect to get dream time with this person. Then you may find that they're popping into your thoughts a bit more than usual because anytime somebody is um, doing something that pulls away from the connection, then it's going to tug at that energy cord, that link that you have. It's going to tug really hard on that. So remember, the key phrase at this time is to work with the 3D is to work with it, not try and work against it, because Twin Flames um, it is a metaphysical union, it's a metaphysical link, um, so your soul is pulling you to live a metaphysical life, but you're actually in the material world, you're in this 3D world, it's, it's, you, you've got to work with what you've got, basically, um, so that is what the divine masculine is doing at this time so the advice would be you need to do the same they're still they're still undecided look they know they know just here they're going to get to this point where all of a sudden boom this is going to hit them hard i don't know what to do let's have a look at this two of swords and see what we've got here clarify the two of swords for the divine masculine please thank you we've got yeah, they're very frustrated here, really, um, you know, holding themselves back. They don't know what direction to take next. Not really sure what to do. <sighs> magician. Okay. So, um, I mean, I sometimes find the magician card quite frustrating because not everybody embraces the energy here with the magician. So, magician is basically somebody who makes things happen they create things now this could be what is frustrating them is that they're not able to create what it is that they want to create they want to create this they want to create this ten of pentacles right here this is the the happy life the strong life the um peaceful stable life that um brings you know things like marriage home uh, children, grandchildren, maybe a dog. Um, you know, it's it's somebody that has everything that they could need or want in life plus more. So this is sort of the atypical representation of what the um, perfect life is. Um, now they could be getting really frustrated here because they're trying their best to build this, but it's not happening. Um, you know, it's not happening as quickly as they want. They're not getting there. The reason being 
is because of the twin flame energy, the link, the twin flame connection. I mean, bear in mind, you will be mirroring your person. So you could also find yourself experiencing similar frustrations at this time. I can hear some people here wondering, or they could have been questioning here at some point, have I got bad karma? Have I been cursed? Um, because nothing seems to be going right for me. Nothing seems to be happening. So um, just bear in mind that sometimes that energy can be coming from your person, that can be coming from your twin. It's not actually um, always going to be the case. It, it could be this is what they're thinking and feeling because they're, they're struggling here at the moment. I feel like they're doing, I would say like it's not a complete disaster for them. If you're, you've tuned in here and you want to hear all bad stuff that's happening to them, that's not what I'm about. What you want to be doing is seeing your twin kind of thriving and succeeding because when they feel like they have achieved what they've set out to in life then they can then they start realizing what's missing what is what is it that they've lost here they don't no matter what they do here to be successful um they still feel as though they've missed out on something or they're missing something or someone and that something and that someone is the spiritual aspect is the connection with their twin so you know you've got to you've got to try and you know wish them every success you've got to um put yourself in a successful energy you have to wish them success also um because that is unconditional love you love them um, no matter what, no matter what they've said or done, you might not want to see them. You might not want to talk to them because of what they said or, or done here, but that love is still there. So what you need them to do here is you need them to prove to themselves because they won't hear it from you. They don't want to hear from you how great they are. They need to prove it to themselves. That's the difference here with twins is that when you're with your twin, um, yeah, you want to impress them, but no matter how much you throw affection and throw praise on this person, because they don't feel it inside, they don't feel that success, they don't know how great they are, they don't really love themselves, they can never accept those compliments from their twin. And so they start pushing and pushing that person away. So this that's really important here. So you need them to be in their successful energy. You know, don't don't be expecting to tune in here and say, oh, you know, have me say, oh, this person's so sad and they just sat around crying and they miss you so much and everything in their life is going awful for them. Because you know, it it don't get me wrong, that does happen sometimes. But at this moment in time, this person is working really really hard on being successful on making things happen for themselves and you might be sat there thinking well i offered to help them do this and they turned me down the reason is is because they have to feel it for themselves they have to know it they have to feel it for themselves if they don't then they are never going to be fully in their energy they're never going to be fully at their best and therefore this connection is never going to be successful so they have to see their value, know their worth and really feel it in order to um, come into union here. So this is great that they are working on it. The connection is still very strong here um, and they are still, they're still figuring things out. Like I said, this is not a quick fix. This is not an easy flow here. This could be, I'm looking here at twins that have connected in 2018. 2012 uh, I'm also getting I'm also going back a little bit further I'm getting 1964 here um, so that could be a birth year that could be a year when you met this person um, but that's coming through quite strongly now let's see what signs we have here um, if the sign of your person comes out all the better if not don't worry, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. It could be um, it's confirmation for um, 
somebody that really needs to hear it at this time. So we have strong fire energy here. So we've got all the fire signs, um, Aries, Leo, Sag. We've got strong earth energy here also. So we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We have some air signs here also. Um, so Aquarius, Gemini and Libra. Um, let's see, there's a little bit of water energy here, but not a massive amount. Um, so I would say we've got strong earth, strong fire, um, strong air. Okay, water signs, interestingly, at the moment, uh, I feel like they're working on soulmates connections, so they don't seem to be coming up in the twin flames, but it doesn't mean that it's not okay just to, to to point that out here so yeah we've got those years there i am getting um <clears throat> i am getting 72 as well so that could be a birth year 1972 um july dates in july what they're giving me straight away i've got the the 8th of july i've got the second um I, yeah i do believe that is july thank you so we've got the 2nd of July, we've got the 8th of July. They want to point out the 27th of June here. So for some of you here, that's going to be an important date. Um, it's not gonna be for everyone. I keep hearing a motorbike as well. Um, so this could be a person that has an interest in motorbikes, they ride a motorbike, um, or, or they could even dress like like that lifestyle like the idea of that lifestyle i'm seeing california here the coastline um again it could be a desire to travel there move there um they could have just they could be from there they could be just visiting um but that is coming to mind here um so I do feel like this is a very creative masculine that we're looking at here. Somebody who is perhaps musical. Um, they could be a writer or they could have aspirations of being a writer. I feel like for a lot of these um, divine masculines, when we're talking about working hard, what we're referring to is life goals, life dreams. So if they are harboring any of these um, life um, ambitions at the moment, then this is what they are working hard on. You know, they want to be an author. They want to be a musician. They want to, um, I think, do something very much in the, the creative energies. They have a, a a kind of a goal here to, there is, a, there is a, a sort of a travel feel here, but it could be rather than taking a year off work and go uh, traveling around, like backpacking, um, I am seeing a camper van here. So this is somebody I feel they're definitely working towards something, something big here. And um, this is how they're going to be kind of measuring their success or their stability is on those big life goals. Um, so once they've got there and... For some of them, they might never, ever get there. They might never, ever be satisfied that they have succeeded in their life goal. They might not have. Um, but this is what they this is all part of the journey. They have to realize down the road where they're at, what they're doing, etc, etc. So definitely, um, definitely hang in there. OK, um, do you keep doing you focus on you? The, the more you focus on your life ambitions and what you want to do, the more you bring yourself into balance, the more you can help your connection with your twin. OK, my darlings, that was um, quite a detailed reading. Thank you for watching till the end. If you enjoyed this reading, please hit the like subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Um, and I will see you in the next reading. Take care now.